Welcome to this week's Week English Practice from English Coaching Projects. Hello, and today I'm driving out to Mignano near Vittoria to visit Big Da Solutions, and they're going to tell us about the Internet of Things. Hope you enjoy the ride! Well, here I am at Meteor for Energy in Mignano, and Meteor for Energy has a spin-off called Big Da Solutions, and co-founder Yvonne Salvide Goitia is going to explain what the Internet of Things is and what Big Da Solutions does. Humans accumulate knowledge during all our lives to make better decisions based on that information. When we talk about Internet of Things, also known as IoT, we are speaking about devices that they are collecting information from other devices and machines to train their artificial intelligence models. Those AI brains are able to create forecasts, to predict anomalies, to decide the best procedure and to take better decisions. This technology allows secure and reliable connections between machines in real time to feed the AI models or AI brains. In Big Da, we develop algorithms with this latest technology in companies to bring them into the digitalization era, also known as Industry 4.0. As always, at the end of the article, we have some questions. You can send your answers via email, via WhatsApp, using the audio function, or via Laura Wan, using the Internet of Things. See you! Communication Revolutions From the Telegraph to the IOT The Internet of Things and machine-to-machine -machine communications are changing our lives. But how did we get to where we are today? Yvonne Salvide Goitia of Big Da Solutions explains. Communication has always been crucial to our evolution as a species. The story of how human communication has developed over the millennia is the backbone to the story of how we came to dominate the planet. But perhaps we have arrived at a watershed moment, a tipping point even. The age of artificial intelligence, AI, and the Internet of Things, IoT. In the past, long-distance communication was slow, imprecise, and susceptible to interception, often relying on animals. It could be interrupted and not re-established for a considerable period of time, maybe never. Nowadays, however, we expect our communications to be instantaneous, accurate and secure. No one expects a blackout to occur. In fact, 
Due to our dependency on current technology, such an event could cause dangerous or even catastrophic incidents in different sectors of the economy and in essential systems that we take for granted in our daily lives. So, let's take a look at the evolution of long-distance communications. Human language and physical interaction have always been central to communication systems that, over time, have used different technologies to evolve and speed up the transfer of information. Before the 1850s, communication between Europe and America relied on ships, and it took approximately 10 days to receive news from the other side of the Atlantic. In the 1850s, the first cable was laid across the floor of the Atlantic, enabling messages to be transmitted by telegraph, thus reducing the time delay to just one day. Also during the 1800s, the steam-powered printing press was invented and refined, which allowed news to spread on an unparalleled scale to a mass of people thirsty for knowledge. All this took place during the First Industrial Revolution. During the Second Industrial Revolution, from the late 19th century into the 20th century, the introduction of telephones permitted real-time, long-distance communication between humans for the first time in our history. Add to this the development of radio and TV, and suddenly endless channels of communication became available that allowed us to continuously share knowledge and entertainment to audiences around the world. Nowadays we are living in the third industrial revolution, where the invention of the internet has opened up multiple new channels of communication, from email, chat rooms and video conferences, to blogs, web tutorials and online influences. All three industrial revolutions have something in common. There have always been two types of communication. One where there exists communication between at least two people, the telegraph, then the phone, and now email and messaging, and another where we unilaterally spread knowledge, news, or just an individual's view of life. Now though, there is a difference. The machines are doing the talking, and they are talking to each other. Industry has always invested heavily in these communication systems, speeding up lead times while attempting to either break into new markets or maintain leadership over an existing one. The Internet of Things is just the latest innovation in this centuries-old progression. This time, the emphasis is on using machine-to-machine -machine communication to acquire as much information as possible and, by using AI to analyse this data, make better informed decisions. Because as Lord Kelvin, the 19th century mathematical physicist and engineer said, what is not measured cannot be improved. What is not improved is always degraded. IoT, machine-to-machine -machine communications, are allowing us to expand our measurement capabilities at very low costs and start a new communications revolution that will take industry and society into the digital age and beyond. And here are this week's questions. What do you know about the Internet of Things? Describe five ways in which you have communicated with your family during your life. Can you think of economic activities that are not highly dependent on technology? Would you like to go back in time to escape modern day communications? If so, give examples. If not, why not? Do you think that we are giving too much power to machines? If so, explain your fears for the future. If not, explain your hopes.